volunteer. Um, I chose The Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Um, it's been banned because of violence, it has sex, it has language, it has language that we don't all necessarily understand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't actually end up reading this in high school and college. I somehow missed out on this being required reading, so I read it earlier this year. Um, I actually listened to it um, going back and forth in the car to work. And I really loved this book, um, so I kind of wanted to share a part of it. Um, for those of you who haven't read it, um, it is about Alex, who is a young 15-year-old um, living in England, um, set in the future, and um, very dystopian. Uh, he, at this particular scene, it's after a night of going out and basically feeding people to a bloody pulp, raping, and um, destroying quite a lot of property. Um, he is woken up the next morning, his parents have left him some breakfast, and basically his parole officer, um, P.R. Deltoid, is there to meet him. Um, so P.R. Deltoid is interviewing him and trying to figure out um, what Alex has been up to lately. So. Nobody's got anything on me, sir, I said. I've been out of the workers of the Millicents for a long time now. That's just what worries me, sighed P.R. Deltoid. A bit too long of a time to be healthy. You're about due now by my reckoning. That's why I'm warning you, little Alex, to keep your handsome young proboscis out of the dirt. Yes. Do I make myself clear? As an unmuddied lake, sir, I said, clear as an azure sky of deepest summer, you can rely on me, sir. And I gave him a nice, zooby smile. But when he ukadeeded and I was making this very strong pot of chai, I grinned to myself over this fesh that P.R. Deltoid and his droogs worried about. All right, I do bad. What with crasting and toll chocks and carbs with the brick bud and the old in out, in out. And if I get loveted, well, too bad for me, oh my little brothers. And you can't run a country with every Chelebek comporting himself in my manner of the night. So if I get loveted, and it's three months in this mess and another six in that, and then as PR Deltoid so kindly warns, next time, in spite of the great tenderness of my summer's brothers, it's the great unearthly zoo itself. Well, I say, fair but a pity, my lords because I just cannot bear to be shut in. My endeavor shall be in such future as stretches out its snowy and lily-white arms to me before the gnaws overtakes or the blood splatters its final chorus in twisted metal and smashed glass on the high road to not get love of it again. Which is fair speeching, but brothers, this biting of their toenails over what is the cause of badness is what turns me into a fine, laughing malchick. They don't go into what is the cause of goodness, so why at the other shop? If looties are good, that's because they like it. And I wouldn't ever interfere with their pleasures, and so at the other shop. And I was patronizing the other shop. More, badness is of the self, the one, the you or me or our Audi Nahis, and that self is made by old Bog or God and is his great pride and radesty. But the not self cannot have the bad because they of the government and the judges and the schools cannot allow the bad because they cannot allow the self. And is not our modern history, my brothers, the story of brave malinky selves fighting these big machines? I am serious with you brothers over this, but what I do, I do because I like to do. So now this smiling winter morning, I drink this very strong chai with maloko and spoon after spoon after spoon of sugar, me having a slight pea tooth, and I dragged out of the oven the breakfast my poor old mum had cooked for me. It was an egg fried, that and no more. But I made toast and ate egg and toast and jam, smacking away at it while I read the Gazetta. The Gazetta was the usual ultra violence and bank robberies and strikes and footballers making everybody paralytic with fright by threatening to not play next Sunday if they did not get higher wages. Naughty Malchikiewicz as they were. Also, there were more space trips and bigger stereo TV screens and offers of free packets of soap flakes in exchange for the labels on soup tins, amazing offer for one week only, which made me smack. And there was a bullshit big article on modern youth, meaning me, so I gave the old bow, grinning like the Zoom name, by some very clever old bald Chelovic. I read this with care, my brothers, slurping away at the old chai, cup after tass after chasha, Crunching my long ticks of black toast, dip in jammy wham and eggy wag. This learned Beck said the usual beshes about no parental discipline, as he called it, and the shortage of real horror show teachers who would bombast bloody bakery out of their innocent poops and make them go boo hoo hoo for mercy. 
all this was gloopy and made me smack, but it was like nice to go on knowing one was making the news all the time, oh my brothers. Every day there was something about modern youth, but the best vesh they ever had in the old Gazetta was by some starry pop in a doggy collar, who said that his, in his considered opinion, and he was reading as a man of bog, it was the devil that was abroad and was like ferreting his way into like young innocent flesh and it was the adult world that could take the responsibility for this with their wars and bombs and nonsense. So that was all right. So he knew what he talked of being a god man. So we young innocent Malchicks could take no blame. Right, right, right. And that's a clockwork orange. Well, 